I'm making a can of sausage and herb stuffing that's perfect for the holidays. So I have some butter in the pan, and I have lots of chunky, flavorful things in the stuffing. I've got two Granny Smith apples chopped up, two stalks of celery, and two onions. I'm just going to saute them until they're really tender. I'll stir them around. In the past, when I used to make a whole turkey, I would put the stuffing inside, and I had to cook the turkey forever in order for the stuffing to cook. And so, of course, the turkey was dry. Not a good idea. So I found if I made the stuffing separately, I had really moist turkey and a big pan of stuffing that was moist and delicious and crispy and crusty on the outside. Now that's good stuffing. OK, while that cooks, I'm going to put some fresh parsley in. OK, about two tablespoons, right in with the apples and onions. Tablespoon of salt. Seems like a lot, but wait till you see it's a lot of stuffing. Teaspoon of pepper. Just toss it all together. I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes until the apples are tender and delicious. And then I'm going to mix it with breadcrumbs. You can certainly make bread stuffing with fresh bread. But I like to take a French boule, one of those round breads, cut it in big one inch cubes, and then toast it for about seven minutes. 300 degrees, and what it does is it crisps it and it dries it out a little bit, and then it will absorb all the gorgeous flavors of the apples and the onions. It can be very good bread stuffing. Mmm, I can smell the apples and onions. They're perfectly cooked. Apples are really tender. Wonderful. I'm going to put these into the breadcrumbs, and then I'm going to cook the sausage. Delicious apple and sausage stuffing. So for the sausage, I tried a few different things. I first started with chicken sausage and basil. Sounds good, right? So boring. <laughs> it was just terrible. And then I started with spicy sausage, like Italian sausage. It was too spicy. So I finally figured out that combination of spicy and sweet Italian sausage was the perfect blend. So that's what I've got. Three quarters of a pound combined. It's really up to you whether you want more spicy or more sweet. But it's really good, the sausage and the breadcrumbs and the apples and onions. It's just a great combination. Just mash it in the pan so the sausage is really cooked and it's broken up. So this is going to cook for about 10 minutes, and then it all goes together with the breadcrumb stuffing. OK, while that cooks, a few more ingredients. I'm going to put a cup of cranberries in. It is Thanksgiving. Cranberries are appropriate. And just to make sure it's really moist, a cup of good chicken stock. And the sausage. Perfect. Spicy, sweet. Just dump it right in. Mm, does that look delicious? Big spoon. Just toss it all together. Put it in a pan. Yikes. Cook the stuffing for 30 minutes until it's browned and crusty on the top and hot and delicious inside. And I would say that looks like Thanksgiving.